with Kimmy Stir, and I'm here today doing the I Want My Virginity Bag tag. I was tagged by my girl, Ellie Curly Girls, Lydia of Ellie Curly Girls. Check out her channel. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with these questions. They're actually not that many. I was like, is there more? Um, Cause I've been bad about watching videos. I've just been way too busy like with my life and editing and shooting videos that I'm just, I'm behind. So, um, so I was like, let me just do some tags today. And okay. So um, the first question is, what are some of the things that you did to your virgin natural hair that you wish that you had not? Um, I wish I'd never had a relaxer. I wish I had never had a relaxer. And, you know, but that was the culture back then. You just got a relaxer. I was nine years old. I was so excited. I was so happy to have it. And we went to the salon. We were living in New Rochelle, New York at the time. We went into Manhattan and had this amazing salon, got, I got my relaxer. I was so happy and just thrilled to be able to just swing my hair around. So that's what we did. It wasn't even like there was a question about it or it was just, that's the way it was. And that's what my mom did and I don't blame her. That's just, that was just how, that's just what you do with your hair. That's what you do with black hair. You just got a relaxer, period. So um, I wish I'd never had one, I really do. And. I wish that when I got old enough to make my own decisions that I just didn't get them then. But I was just, just what you did. It didn't even occur to me to do anything different. It didn't even occur to me to learn about my natural hair. It didn't even occur to me until, you know, however long ago was I, how long, ever long ago, or three years ago, or four years ago, whenever I decided to stop straightening my hair. So, you know, that's really, I wish I'd never done that. And part of it is, you know, some of the long term effects, I think, on my hair are that I, there are places in my hair where my hair doesn't grow, where I have like some mini bald spots and they're not like major or anything, but they're definitely places where it looks like you have a part where it's just where hair just doesn't grow. So, you know, I'm fortunate that I don't have any major bald spots or anything or whatever, but I just, and I don't know really, and maybe that's just the way my hair would be even if I never had a relaxer, but I know that when you do enough damage to your hair, at some point your follicles are just not coming back. Hair's just not gonna go there anymore. And that's pretty much what I think would happen to some of those some of those places in my hair. Um, and so if I had never had a relaxer, that wouldn't have been an issue. So that's really it. I mean, I didn't really do a whole lot to my hair. I didn't really, I think I highlighted it once while I had a relaxer, really wasn't a good plan. I have highlights now and my hair's totally fine. But I didn't really know how to take care of my hair back then, so doing double processing in your hair is a bad thing to do, especially if you don't really know how to take care of it. Um, so knowing what I know now, if I'd had a relaxer now, I would my hair would be in better condition anyway. But the fact is I didn't, and so I probably shouldn't have highlighted my hair, but yeah, so that's it. Okay, so yeah, so if I were to do my hair differently now, if I had virgin hair now, I would not relax it. I would just do what I'm doing with my hair now. I would take care of it on my own. I would learn about it. I would, you know, I did, I've read so many books. I would do all of those things. Um, but yeah, whatever. So that's done. But the next question is, looking back over this year, this past year, 2013, what are some of the things you wish you had not done or were more diligent about? I don't really have anything. I mean, I take pretty good care of my hair and I'm pretty consistent. Like I, I, I can count on my hand the number of times I did not do a deep condition on my hair every week. I do it every week. So like maybe once or twice over the last three or four years, I didn't do it. Um, but I pretty much, I do a DC every week, a moisturizing one about every other month or so, every couple months I do a protein DC and I wash my hair twice a week. Um, I use shampoo one of those days and the other day, depending on if I've been to the gym, I may do another shampoo or I'll just do a co-wash. Um, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty, you know, I highlighted my hair for the first time. Um, was it 2013? Yeah, 2013, I highlighted my hair for the first time. Maybe it was 2012. I don't remember, anyway. <laughs> um, so recently, maybe in the last year or so, I highlighted my hair and you know what, I really liked it. I my I, my hair didn't break off. I didn't have any damage as a result of it. In part because I know how to take care of my hair and I do protein treatments and I really did this whole regimen, which I'll leave that video below if you want to check that out. Um, but I did really great with it. I had no issues with my hair and I'm really I would color I would highlight it again. I don't know about full head color, but I'm I don't really have anything I'd want to do differently. Uh, I love the oil rinsing. I wish maybe I'd done that sooner. My hair is really liking that a lot, so I will continue to do that. It's part of my regimen. So yeah, I guess that's it. So I am going to tag. I don't know if 
Nashi Curly Q's been tagged. I always tag her, but whatever. So she's always fair game for me. So I'm gonna tag Nashi Curly Q if she has not already been tagged. Cash TV, I'm not sure if she's been tagged yet. So if you have not been tagged, girl, Cash, you are tagged. Colored Beautiful, I don't know if she's been tagged yet. And I actually got to meet her this past weekend at IMATS. And so I'm gonna tag her. Um, she's got really, really beautiful hair. Oh my gosh, such a cute haircut. You ladies, you three are tagged. And if anybody's watching and you wanna participate, please do so, I would love to hear your answers. Make sure you tag me in your video. I think you can tag people on Google Plus. I don't know how, I'm still learning Google Plus. Um, Cause I would love to watch your video and see. So I guess that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing your tags if people have tagged, or if you want to participate, I look forward to seeing your tags, your videos on the tag. So I guess that's it. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye. Hey beauties. If you want to watch some of my most recent videos, please click on either one of the videos that you see on your screen right now, and it'll take you right to the video so you can check it out. If you want to make sure you get all of my latest videos, make sure you go to the bottom left hand of your screen, click there, and you can go ahead and subscribe. I upload brand new videos every single Monday. Thank you so much for watching my video.